Hello, I'm Lindsay Komczak, Editor of Modern Distribution Management, and I'm here with Larry Davis, President of ORA's NASCO. How are you doing today, Larry? Uh, I'm doing great, Lindsay. We appreciate uh, the opportunity to uh, participate with you guys. Great. Well, thank you. So how is business for ORS NASCO? Uh, 2010 was a strong year for ORS, and, and we experienced market recovery along with the rest of the channel in addition to achieving market share gains due to execution around our core strategic initiatives. We continue to the investment plan we started in 2009 with specific programs to enhance the capabilities of our business and the ORS NASCO team. We view our people as the key sustainable competitive advantage and have spent a significant amount of resources to enhance our culture and our execution capabilities. For 2011 and beyond, we will continue to bring new opportunities and competitive challenges, and we are confident that our team will meet those challenges and continue our heritage of strong execution and performance. How do you view current economic conditions when planning for 2011? How can a distribution company deal with the uncertainty that we are seeing right now? Well, that's a big question and, and something that's very challenging to answer in seven minutes or less. But generally speaking, we feel the economic climate is very favorable for our industry and should provide opportunity for growth in the near term. The last time we talked, you uh, mentioned ORS NASCO's strategic plan. I believe you referenced it earlier with some of the investments that you're making. Could you provide an overview of where you are with this and, and what obstacles and opportunities you see in reaching this goal? Absolutely. You know, ORS NASCO is a service company whose vision is to enable our partners to succeed. And we do that through a value proposition focused on three key deliverables. The first is enabling our customers to grow their business. The second is to help them improve their profitability. And finally, working with them to utilize their assets more effectively. So fundamentally, our strategic plan revolves around creating a successful outcome for our customers who are continually faced with increased competitive and financial pressures. So what is relevant to that service space that you, you built and the value proposition that you have. What is the role of a master distributor in industrial distribution channels, the sector in which you operate, and, and why do you see such great growth potential in these markets? Well, United Stationers' core strategy is to win from the middle by providing services that enable our customers and our suppliers. And, and due to the significant supply chain inefficiencies in the industrial marketplace, United saw that the opportunity to invest in ORS NASCO and our value proposition would lead the evolution in the industrial channel to make a more effective supply chain for our industry. United Stationers has said it wants to expand the product areas that ORS NASCO covers um, in presentations to investors. Which areas are you interested in and why is this a priority and what is the value that expanding the product areas that you cover will bring to your customers? Well, we look for product categories that are going to allow us to live up to that value proposition we outlined above uh, with the objective of further enabling our customers you know, to allow them to grow their revenue, to improve their profitability, and, and to enhance their working capital efficiency. What role then will uh, cross-selling play for ORS NASCO? What opportunities do you see in selling product categories traditionally sold by the other subsidiaries of United Stationers? You know, a core tenet of our enablement of distributors is to help them diversify and sell more product categories to their end users. And ORS NASCO has been enabling our customers with new product categories for over a decade, and we're going to continue to provide them with new avenues for growth and penetration of their customer base. United Stationers offers the broadest offering of business products through a pure wholesale model, and we'll work hard to help our customers have access to all of them. United Stationers has been on the leading edge of incorporating various technology platforms and offerings into its value proposition for distributor customers, especially in e-commerce. Uh, how is or will ORS NASCO be integrating these solutions to better serve your customers? You know, throughout its 50-year history, ORS NASCO has offered services to its customers to enhance their competitive capabilities in the marketplace. Technology and e-commerce are an evolution of those services, and we will continue to integrate them into an offering and further enable our customers. As a business unit of United Stationers, we'll stay on the forefront of new service opportunities that enhance our customers' competitiveness and bring them to the marketplace. Do you have acquisition plans in 2011, 2012? Yeah, our primary focus is to continue to drive strong growth and profitability through organic means. 
Uh, we believe the market presents opportunities for us through our strong collaboration with our customers and suppliers. We can realize those opportunities. Like any other business, we will evaluate strategic acquisition opportunities if and when they're available and determine whether or not they align strategically with our business and enhance our long-term capability. The final question we are asking executives that we speak to for this feature is what three things should be keeping a leader up at night right now? In other words, what is front of mind for today's executives in these markets? You know, the way I view this is the ultimate challenge for any leader of a business is to create an environment where their team can deliver great performance. And that includes focus on the culture and sustainability of the people in the business and being willing to ensure you know and understand how you add value to your customers. Your focus and energy has to be on your people and the few critical things that you do that make your customers a better and more viable organization. Thank you for joining us today, Larry. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. We, we're always excited to uh, share things and our knowledge about our business and talk about the industry, and uh, especially with a valuable partner like MDM. Great. Thank you.